Hello, this is Valerie from the Highland Homestead. Today I'm going to be planting up potatoes. You may remember a couple of months ago when I was chitting potatoes, I promised you I'd do an experiment where I planted in three different containers to see what each produced. Today is the day we're going to do that. So let's get out into the polytunnel. These are the nine Nicola potatoes that I started chitting on the 26th of February. You can see they've done really well. This little guy, he's put his all in to grow in the shoots. You can see how wizened it's become. And that's perfectly okay. It's put everything into trying to grow that shoot at the top. So we shall have some nice potatoes from that. Right, I promised you we'd do an experiment and this is what we're going to do. Here I've got a bucket. It's got a big old split in the bottom. I've got the bucket and I've got a carrier bag from my local grocery store. The second one I want to grow in is a black sack. It's just a leftover compost bag turned inside out so it's black side out because that retains the heat in the bag. And then I have this third bag which is sold in garden centres to grow vegetables in. It isn't actually a potato sack but for the means of the experiment it will do. Right, we'll start with the first one, the plastic bag in the bucket. Now over here in the wheelbarrow I have the compost I'll be using. It's actually a mix of garden soil, old pots that I've finished with, I've recycled their compost into here and also just a little bit of fresh compost. So what we're going to do is we're going to put about four to six inches of soil in the bottom. So I like my little shovel. What do you think of that? It's actually a coal shovel. I sent off for off, around, off of Amazon, I think it was. I expected something that wide to come back and I got this and I think it's lovely. I couldn't have been more pleased to have received it. It's ideal for this sort of thing, getting the soil out. You need something a bit wider than a trail and this works out just fine. So that's number one. This is number two. This is number three. All ready to be planted up with potatoes. Now it's going to be interesting to see how much each of these produce. This one should grow more than the others because they're smaller, but we'll take all of that into account. I might actually put three potatoes in this one so it's fairer. Usually you'd put, I know some people would put one, but I'm going to put two in the others. And we'll start, oh he's growing that way, we'll put him in that way. And that one on that side. These are second earlies. This one, one there, and then this one. How wizened that one is, it's really worked hard for us. So we're getting a bit off camera there. That one in the middle, this one on this end. So we'll see how they go. Got two left over. I have to find somewhere to put those other two. We've just got to cover the potatoes. I've actually got, a, I'm going to cheat a bit, I've got a little bit of compost here that I'm just going to put over them so I don't break the eyes off. And this one. So there we are. They don't need very much soil on top to start them going. Just put them somewhere safe and out the way. Remember to keep an eye on them though because they will need watering. You don't want to drown them, you just want to give them a little water now and again. But just keep an eye on it for slugs and mice, things like that. And we'll see what happens. And at the end of the season, I think these will probably take about three months maybe. So late summer, we'll be digging these potatoes out and we'll see what we've got. And we'll compare, remembering that this one's got three potatoes in. Now, as the season goes on, you can see these, these shoots that have come from the eyes. 
this part here, these little speckles, these little speckle bits are the roots that will grow from it. And on those roots, that's what your potatoes will grow off of. So, so long as they are under the soil, that'll grow and you'll end up with potatoes from that. During the season, this will get longer and longer and longer. And each time it grows, you cover it with soil so that the potatoes have somewhere to, to grow. And you keep doing this until it gets to the end of your container. Fill it up with soil. If you've got potatoes, get on and grow them. If you haven't got seed potatoes, have a look in your potato bag that you've got from the groceries and see if you've got any potatoes in it that are going a bit like this. Right, that's it for today, folks. That's the three containers planted up. We've just got to sit and wait now for nature to take its course and hopefully we will get a good amount of potato from each pot. But we'll be measuring each one to see just how much it provides. Remembering that the big one had three potatoes, so we've got to take that off. I hope that was helpful and you enjoyed watching it. Thank you so much for joining me today. And until we meet again, it's bye-bye from Valerie at the Homestead.